Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Unparalleled Universe for another action figure review. And today we're taking a look at the brand new Jada Toy Street Fighter, Dalsim. And Dalsim along with M. Bison are starting to show up in stores now. People are finding it in Targets in California and some other places across the country. I did get mine directly from a buddy of mine that works at Jada Toys. So shout out to the homie for hooking it up. But if you're looking for these guys, they are showing up in Target and they are available for pre-order all over the place. But yeah, man, I'm very excited excited about this figure. I've been loving the Jada Toy Street Fighter figure so far and I've got to be honest with you, right now I think that Dalsim is like the coolest looking one. So, I'm excited for this one. But let's go ahead and get right into it starting off with the packaging. Through the window, you are able to see the figure along with the awesome accessories that he comes with and I love the, you know, arcade theme that they have going on for the box here. As you can see, we have some buttons right up front. Down here we get some artwork of Dalsim and then on the side of the box we get some artwork of some other Street Fighter characters. On the back we get a look at the figure itself in an awesome pose. Then down here we get a look at like the character selection screen. And then over here we get some more artwork. So that's about it for the box. I do love the concept. It's perfect for Street Fighter and it looks awesome. Like it would be dope just to have a display of these just kind of lined up like this, you know, but of course we got to get this guy out of the packaging because I know it's going to be awesome. So enough about the pretty box. Let's go ahead and get him out and take a look. <laughs> okay, so here we have Dulcine right out of the box. And holy crap, this guy is freaking awesome. I've been a big fan of all the Jada Toys action figures. They've been killing it with every single thing that they've done. The Universal Monsters were amazing. The cereal box mascots were a lot of fun. Chester Cheetah, Mega Man, all of that stuff is dope. Street Fighter, they have been straight up killing it. And I've got to say, I think this might be the best figure that they've done so far. In my opinion, it's definitely the best Street Fighter figure that they've done so far because one big problem I had with some of the Street Fighter figures was that the face paint wasn't quite like perfect, you know? It wasn't horrible or anything, but that's one thing that you could point to and say that they can kind of improve on it. That's not the case with Dalsim. His head sculpt is perfect. The paintwork is perfect. The whole thing looks amazing. The articulation is ridiculous. The figure is so much fun to play with and man that that's before we even get to the accessories you incorporate the accessories this guy's untouchable like it's gonna be very hard to find something that's as good as this at the same price point it's crazy man they freaking killed it I've been having so much fun playing around with this figure man the articulation setup on these guys is amazing there's just so much good stuff going on here but let's go ahead and get in close and take a look at the details on him. Starting from the top, I think that Jada Toys did a very nice job on Dalsim's head sculpt. As you can see, the sculpting work is really well done. The facial expression is perfect. The paintwork is clean. Check out the face paint that he has on his cheeks and on his head. The lines are very crisp and really well done. And then he does have these very cool metal earrings. But yeah, man, look at the face. That facial expression is perfect, man. They did a great job with this. And I'm really happy to see it because as much as I love the Fei Long figure, the one thing that you could point at and say they could have done a better job with it is the face sculpt and the face paint. It wasn't like it was bad, but it wasn't at the same level of quality as the rest of the figure. So, you know, I'm really happy to see that they've kind of improved in this area. And I really hope that the figures have this level of quality on their head sculpts going forward because this looks awesome. And you know, like I said, it wasn't bad on the Fei Long figure, but it definitely could have been a little better. And with Dalsim, that's not the case. To me, it looks perfect. So yeah, they definitely killed it. And then moving on to the rest of the body, he does have his skull necklace around the neck and there's not a whole lot of paint detail in the skulls but you could see they're very well sculpted and they are on some type of like elastic band it's not plastic i don't know exactly what it is but yeah it's some type of soft material so that looks good and the body doesn't have a whole lot going on but you could see that the muscles are very well sculpted and there's a little bit of paint wash in there it's very subtle and it's kind of hard to see on camera with the lights blasting the figure but in person you could see a little bit of paint wash in there but yeah, they did a great job sculpting everything. And then he does have these wraps around the forearms that look good. And you can see there's a little bit of paintwork in there. He's got the loose uh, loop hanging around. And then check out the paintwork on here. This is all very clean. This is another area where it kind of feels like they improved a little bit. Because on Ryu, like he kind of had a similar setup where some of the soft parts had paint. And on my Ryu, some of the paint would come off a little bit. 
Uh, but on Dalsim, it seems like that's not going to be a problem. I've been playing with this figure nonstop, and it doesn't look like there's any risk of anything chipping or cracking or anything like that. So I feel like they improved in this area just a little bit. But yeah, man, it looks really good. And then down at the lower legs, he does have some wraps just like the forearms. Not a whole lot going on with the feet, but yeah, some of the details are a little softer, but I think that's because they, they were trying to cat like you know capture an animated feel. But man, yeah, it looks really good. He does have pinless elbows and pinless knees, so that's nice. But man, yeah, I really love the way this figure looks, and they did a great job with the head sculpt, which is the one thing that um, you know, I was kind of, you know, I was hoping that they were going to kill it with the head sculpt, and they really did. And then for accessories, Dalsim does come with a bunch of awesome stuff, including two different head sculpts. The first one here is a stoic facial expression. We've already looked at this. The alternate head sculpt is Dalsim just screaming. This is awesome. Both head sculpts are really nice, very clean paintwork, and really well done. And then for the final and coolest accessories that Dalsim comes with, he has these, like, extended limbs. And we're not going to put these on because nobody wants to see that. But these are very cool. Just kidding. Let's go ahead and check these things out because they are a whole lot of fun. All you have to do is pop the arm off at the bicep there. And then you plug this in. There we go. Boom. And yeah, look at that. <laughs> that is so awesome. And as I said, this is a bendy wire so you can you know, shape it however you want. But yeah, I like to definitely keep them straight. Man, that is so cool. And then the legs do the same thing. You just pop it off right here at the upper thigh. And the legs are a little bit tougher to pop off. The joint is a little bit tighter. There we go. And, you know, that's... I don't mind it being that tight because then it kind of keeps it from getting loose after doing this all the time. Boom. There we go. And yeah, look at that. <laughs> Man, that is so cool. And then he does come with this like little stand. So if you need a way to prop him up, if you're going to have him on your shelf or something, you could just set his foot in that stand or you could set the arm in that stand. But man, uh, th these are such cool accessories to include with him. And they did such a great job with the whole bendy wire thing. They don't look bad at all. Like they blend in seamlessly with the rest of the figure. And, you know, the bendy wire seems very sturdy. Like, I feel like you could mess around with these things quite a bit. And you don't have to worry about them getting messed up or anything. Look at that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get the other arm on there. The only thing I, I was a little disappointed about with these things is that the hands don't come off. It would have been cool to be able to, like, switch the hands out between all these, you know, with these bendy arms and the regular arms. That way you could have... You know, you had a fist for the regular arms or an open hand for the regular arms, but that's not the case. But I understand why. It's a piece of metal in there. Probably would have been complicated and difficult to make it to where it can hold a peg without it, like, falling out all the time or getting too loose. But, man, these are so cool. They did a great job with the bendy wires, and they just look awesome on the figure. So, I love it. This is so much fun. And, again, like, you know, even before doing this, before these crazy accessories, the figure is amazing. But then adding accessories that are this fun, it's, it's like, it's unbeatable, you know? Like, what you get for the, from this figure for the price that it cost. So, yeah, they definitely killed it with these things. They're awesome. So now for some quick size comparisons. Here we have Dalsim alongside the Jada Toy Street Fighter Fei Long and the Jada Toy Street Fighter Ryu. And yeah, I think these guys look awesome together. I love that Dalsim is a little smaller than them. And I also like that there, there's pretty much no reuse between these three figures. I guess maybe Fei Long's arms and Ryu's arms might be the same. But aside from that, like everything feels unique to the, to the specific character. So they're off to a good start for sure. All three of these guys are awesome. But Dalsim is definitely the best that they've done so far in my opinion. <laughs> Dang. So here we have them alongside the Soda Toys Street Fighter Sagat and the Soda Toys Street Fighter Vega. And man, these guys are huge next to Dulcine. That <laughs> That's crazy. I can't wait for Jada Toys to do these two characters, especially Sagat. I think that's how you say his name. But, you know, I've always liked this figure, but it's just so big and crazy. I would love to have a, you know, a <laughs> like a smaller version of him with more articulation so you could get him into cool like kickboxing poses. Uh, but yeah, I think that these guys look pretty good together, but the Soda Toys stuff is kind of big. 
Well, actually, maybe just those guys are big because Ken and Ryu from Soda look pretty good next to Dalsim. And then here we have them alongside the Soda Toys M. Bison and the Jada Toys Chung Lee. And I do have the Jada Toys M. Bison, but I haven't opened it yet. I will be doing a review for him, so keep an eye out for that. And then for some more video game stuff, here we have them alongside the Figma Link and the Jada Toys Mega Man. Here he is alongside the Marvel Legends X-Men 97 Wolverine and the Marvel Legends Wolverine 50th Anniversary 2-Pack Sabretooth. Next up, we have them alongside the Mafex Magneto and the NECA Mirage Comics Return to New York Raphael. And then, of course, we have to have Dalsim alongside the Marvel Legends Bucky Cap and Marvel Legends Renew Your Vow Spider-Man. And then for the final size comparison, we have them alongside one of my favorite all-time figures, the Mafex Gambit. And on the opposite side, we have the awesome Marvel Legends 2-Pack Deadpool. And the articulation on this guy, much like every other Jada Toy Street Fighter figure that we've seen so far... Man, it's freaking awesome. I love the Jada Toys articulation scheme. I think it pretty much has every single thing that you need. The only one thing it's missing is Toe Hinge. And, you know, that's not 100% necessary. It would be cool if it had it and everything, but, you know, it's not really a big deal that it doesn't. Aside from that, it literally has every single point of articulation that you could possibly want. And, yeah, I think that Dalsim probably gets the most out of this articulation setup than a lot of their other figures because the character design you know it kind of leaves a lot of room for things to move around so i love the articulation setup and on top of just like having a bunch of joints everywhere these figures are so much fun to actually pick up and play with man that's like the big draw when it comes to these guys in my opinion is the fact that they're all so much fun like to actually pick up and handle and pose around and dalsim is definitely one of the most fun so far so yeah man they killed it but let's go ahead and take a look starting off at the head he does have movement at the lower neck and at the upper neck so using both of those we get some really nice tilt action and then he is able to look up to about right there which is pretty good and then he could look down to right there which is nice and then of course we get some side to side action so yeah really good movement at the head and the neck and then for the torso, he does have a diaphragm cut and a ball joint at the waist. Using both of those, he's able to crunch forward a really nice amount. Look at that. And then if you, you know, use the head and the neck to, you know, sell the illusion of him crunching forward. <laughs> man, that's crazy right there. So that is awesome. And then it goes back to about right there. And we do get a little gap on the front if you're pushing it to the extreme, you know. But <laughs> man, look at that. That is crazy. And then we do get some nice side to side using those two joints. And you are able to twist at the waist and you can't really twist at the diaphragm. So that's where you're going to, that's where you're going to get your side to side, you know, from the waist. I love this torso setup. It's very much like a Mafex, which is awesome. And then for the arms, he does have butterfly joints, but they don't go forward and back quite as much as I would like. They seem to stop a little before the joint, kind of like Hasbro figures do, but not as bad. You could still get his arm. Oh, actually, you know what? Cancel that. You can get his arms all the way back. You just have to push it. There we go. So that's nice. And then you could bring his arms forward in front of him to about right there. So yeah, you could get his arms in front of him a pretty good amount. Look at that. Boom. Yeah, man. So much fun to play around with. But yeah, you his arms can move a pretty good amount. And like I said, you could get them in front of him pretty easily. Yeah, so good stuff. And then he does have... Let's get him situated real quick. He does have ball joints at the shoulder, so his arm's going to go all the way around. You could bring his arms up to the side a really good amount. And then he does have upper bicep swivel. A really nice double jointed elbow. Ooh, look at that. The bends to right there. And the bend all looks good, which is important to me, so that's nice. And then he does have a swivel at the wrist and a hinge at the wrist. And it's ju it's just a regular in and out hinge, not like vertical or anything like that. So there we go. And then for the legs, he's able to kick forward to about right there. <laughs> they always use this like soft material around the waist. So it doesn't really get in the way of the articulation. 
So he's able to kick forward a really nice amount. And, you know, when you crunch him forward and you're doing all that, it looks crazy. <laughs> so that is nice. He's able to kick to the side. Damn. Man, that is dope. Damn, he could pretty much do the splits. There we go. So you could get, you know, that super high kick. Oh, man, that is awesome. And can't really go back all that much. But forward and side to side is pretty amazing. Bam. So good stuff at the legs. And then he does have upper thigh swivel right there where the thigh comes apart. He has double jointed knees that get a good bend. And the shorts do not get in the way at all because they're kind of high. And then he does have a lower leg swivel right there at the wrap, so that's perfect. And then he has rocking ankles. His foot could go forward to right there and come up to right there. So yeah, man, like I said, the articulation is pretty ridiculous. It has like so much going on, but most importantly, the figure is just like a blast to play around with. The articulation does feel very much like an import figure, I mean, in terms of like the setup, obviously like some of the joints aren't going to feel as smooth as an import figure, but the articulation scheme feels very much like an import figure. So that's pretty dope. But man, th this figure is just so much fun to play with and all the Jada Toy Street Fighter figures have been fun to play with. But yeah, in my opinion, Doll Seam is definitely like the most fun Jada Toys figure that I've ever played with. So overall, at the end of the day, when the smoke clears, the dust settles and it's all said and done... I think it's pretty obvious at this point, but man, I freaking love this figure. Jada Toys absolutely killed it, and they gave us the best Street Fighter figure that they've done so far with Dolph Seam. And I've liked all of the other figures. I think that all of them are awesome. I've had a whole bunch of fun with Fei Long and Ryu and Chung Li. All of them are really dope figures, but Dolph Seam tops all of them in my opinion. They did an incredible job on everything on this guy. And I love that they improved in certain areas that they struggled with before. That being like the face sculpts and the face paint. Like, Fei Long is an awesome figure, but the face isn't perfect. Doll Seam's face sculpt and face paint is absolutely perfect in my opinion. So I love to see that, you know, continuous improvement. And man, you know, like, it's crazy what they give you for this price point. Like, that's been the case since the very first, like, Jada Toys action figure. It's like, for 25 bucks, they're giving you a lot. But the fact that they keep getting better and, like, prices haven't increased or anything, that is really dope. So, I can't wait to see what else they do. But, yeah, it's going to be very hard to find another figure in this price range that could compete with Dalsim, in my opinion. Like, 25 bucks, he does pretty much everything that you need him to do. It's a really good representation of the character. And... It's just a really dope, fun figure. Articulation is ridiculous on this guy. He's so much fun to pose around and play with. It's definitely one of those figures that has like a hand-friendly appeal. You're going to want to pick it up and play with it all the time. Like I said before, the sculpting work is well done. The figure looks amazing. It represents the character accurately. And then it's got a bunch of crazy accessories on top of like the... <laughs> how awesome the figure is itself they threw in a bunch of cool accessories i love the two heads the extra hands but the standout accessories are definitely the stretched out limbs those things are so much fun they did a great job with the bendy wire so you know you have all kinds of different options you can have a bunch of fun with those things and they represent the character's powers perfectly the only thing he's missing in the accessory department is like a fireball flame or something like that it would have been really cool if he came with like a head sculpt that maybe had a fireball coming out from the mouth or something i think that would have been really dope but aside from that he's got so much going on it's really hard to like knock him for that so it is what it is but it would have been cool if they threw that in there that's really the only thing that's missing jada toys just really killed it in like every single aspect of this figure i really don't have any complaints or anything like that so i can't wait to see where they go with this and i really hope that guile turns out as good as this figure guile was my favorite street fighter character growing up so i really hope the upcoming jada toys guile figure is as good as this doll seam if it is i'm gonna be very happy but yeah man i love this figure definitely gonna be one of those figures that i spend a lot of time with playing around with constantly wanting to take it with me places and all that kind of stuff so jada toys did a great job with it and with that i think that's it thank you so much for watching please be sure to like comment subscribe and all that good stuff also be sure to hit the bell notification so you know every time that i go live thank you very much peace